Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are adding another video in the miscellaneous series. In this video, we will be talking about how exactly we can transfer data from a particular solution to another study in ComSol Multiphysics. So, we will be talking about how exactly we can bridge between two solutions. Suppose you have already simulated something and you want to add a new physics which is related to the previous study. So you need to make a bridge by which the data from the previous solution will feed to the new study to help your new simulation. Before I start today's technical discussion, I would like to make an announcement. We have initiated a service where we help you developing your research problem with ComSol Multiphysics. If you want to avail this service, write to me in the email ID given in the description box. I'll reply back to you, we'll set video calls and we'll, we'll, we'll try to help your case. So let us proceed with today's discussion now. So we work with 2D module and let us take transport of diluted species and laminar flow for this demonstration and I take a time dependent study for the time being. So the idea is we'll be solving a fluid flow problem and the fluid flow will take away some material th uh, within it so that material flow will be solved by transport of diluted species and initially we will be solving for the laminar flow and then we will introduce the additional effect of moment uh, mass transfer to demonstrate this particular idea. So initially what we do we create a geometry say let us work in the centimeter domain I right click on it cre uh, create a rectangle say the height is 10 and the width is 2 for say so this is the rectangle say this is our solution space and we choose a material from the material library we'll add water yeah water has been added now we go to laminar flow we create an inlet and an outlet so say this is my inlet and at the inlet we put some pressure condition say the pressure is 5 pascal and we create another outlet because the flow is continuous and the outlet we keep pressure equal to 0 so this determines the I mean it defines all the boundary conditions required for solving laminar flow so what we do we go to mesh create the mesh this is a good enough for the demonstration purpose now what I do I right click on it and click on get initial value step so it will actually take the basic results which will be there so velocity profile pressure profile and concentration profile now what i do i just look at the range so we are working from 0 to 1 second and saving data at 0.1 second interval now what we do we do not solve this particular one for this particular solution so we only solve for laminar flow and now i click on compute so this particular compute will solve for the laminar flow and we'll see the results the simulation is over let us move at once again uh, this is concentration the concentration there is nothing to solve for because we have not solved for the transport of diluted species so we go to the velocity so here we go at once again yeah you can see it's a parabolic profile at the at the wall you have minimum velocity and at the middle you have maximum so the flow is happening from this place to that place that you can check using arrow I right click here click on arrow surface plot it okay this has taken the uh, concentration so we need to put the velocity U and V field yeah now you can see 
this is the direction of the flow so what will happen if we have certain material here due to this flow it will be convected away with the flow direction now suppose we are solving a segregated model where we know the fluid flow direction now we are just imagining what if there was a material at this position and the fluid which is moving with moving uh, will be taking away the material so for that we can actually use this solution so we have already data available for this fluid flow this data will be using for the transport of diluted species now if you go here if you look at the equation we have a u in this particular equation so the data what i need is this data from this laminar flow should be transferred here but not in a fully coupled manner what i will be doing i will be taking another study so i will solve only for transport of diluted species so i take time dependent say i name it rename it to tds study only with data transfer data transfer so initially let me define the physics so what i do here is i put a flux say at the inlet i put a flux of c say 0 0.02 so there will be a flux at the inlet and when fluid flows it will be convected away with the flow direct in the towards the flow direction so this those are no flux initial concentration says zero we have given a flux so yeah this condition is more or less satisfied now the main problem is we have this u dot this is the convective term basically and when you are solving for this convective term it is basically asking for the u so here what i can do is i can take velocity spf but while i go here what i can do is i can actually disable this transport of diluted species and then uh, not this one i can disable the laminar flow actually i want to have the laminar flow data from the previous solution that is the study one for that what i need to do i need to change here so initial values the variables not solved for the things which we are not solving that should come from user defined data and this user defined data is the other solution so in the method we click on solution and then in the study we click on study one time dependent that means i am telling comsol that you take the data of the velocity fill from the solution one and it is also asking for at which time step it should take the data because that was a time dependent solution and yeah the i mean in the record they have this many times i mean velocity fill for this many time step there are available so what i can do is i can choose the last yeah the last solution that means the maybe the steady state solution so once i do it then i click on compute so it should run yeah the simulation is running yeah you can see the concentration profile so here i have not solved for the laminar flow but what i did is i took the data from the previous study so this is one way of doing it there is another way so what you can do is uh, okay before going to that let me again look at the concentration profile so this is the concentration very physical because we have a flow in this direction and with time what's happening this material is going with the flow so if i see the time dependent flow so there was no material here at the very beginning be very beginning it was here only 
now as the time progresses the material goes with the flow and this is how what we uh, this is what we expect now what i was talking about we can do the similar thing in a different manner where you can check this option modify model configuration for study step so once you modify it it will take all the physics but you can actually do a kind of tuning so if you right click here it is chosen solve for yeah we are solving it in the study to solver in the laminar flow i right click here so it is already written disable in solvers actually what i did is uh, when i unchecked it in the modify tree it will be showing in a different color if you see it is showing in the green color and here is a kind of orange color but if i check this one then i click on the modify tree you can see both are in green and after checking this also you can disable it you can right click here and click on disable in solver so you can see the color has changed i mean both are the same thing but you can choose to do in different ways and here also what you need to do you need to change this one values of the variables not solved for it is already taken because i have taken in the previous section that's why automatically taken here also i am commanding that you take the data from the study one and the last last time step so again if i compute you can have the similar result so this way you can actually have different studies in the same simulation and you can have a mutual data transfer from one solution to the other study so you can see we have got similar result so this concept will be useful when you do different kinds of problem uh, where you need to solve for a particular case and then you need to data transfer to the other solver uh, i forgot to mention one thing let me quickly talk about it so in this case this is not a fully coupled solution because we are solving separately so automatically it takes fully coupled but you can change it to segregated so what i am doing i am right clicking on the time dependent solver and checking the and clicking the option segregated so once you do it it becomes segregated this is no more fully coupled so even if you do it segregated it will give you similar result because you are separating the solution you are taking the data from a different study and in this particular case you don't have a fully coupled model as you can see in the segregated solver also we are getting similar results but in some of the cases you have some mandate where you can't do this segregated solution your solutions may be interdependent in that case you must do fully coupled solution but in some of the cases what happens when you do the coupling of three and four physics your simulation becomes very heavy and you cannot run the simulation the convergence is not reaching in those cases you can actually solve a separate part and then transfer the data so that your simulation becomes easier so those things are necessary and that's why i thought of making a video on it i hope this video will help you uh, before i end today's lecture i would like to request you to subscribe to my channel because it will give me more motivation to upload videos thank you